next guest is a Chicagoan, and she's the host of Windy City Flip on HGTV. Here's a clip from her new show. I am Allison Victoria. Chicago is my city. I was born and raised here. Now I'm flipping houses here. The facade itself looks like it's in actually really nice shape. You got some limestone, you got tuck pointing. Flipping houses in Chicago is, it's my dream. See those cased pillars? That's what I want to do. And it's my dream because the architecture is there and it has been there for hundreds of years. I love this big window. And to be able to go in and save some of that history, that's the goal. Please welcome designer and developer, Allison Victoria. Oh, thank you. Hi. Good to see you again. Good to see yeah. you guys. Congratulations. Thank you. Windy City Flip got picked up. You guys had me on, like, I think it was the day of. Yes. So it premiered, and then the network kind of likes to tease you, so they made me wait. But they picked it up for season one, so I'm excited. Yeah. Congratulations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's our line? Do you find that this is a, a boys club sort of thing, and you get to kind of break some barriers. So it's funny because, you know, with the whole Time's Up movement and this, you know, like girl boss moment, I think that I've just always felt like I belong. I, I don't know how to say it. Like right out of college, I started building from the ground up and I was in a man's world, but I still showed up in heels and like killed it. And so I never really compared myself. So I just think even now it's like, I don't know. I don't think I don't think I look at it that way. I, I always just feel like I belong. And, yeah. and so it's it's Confidence. Yes. yes. I don't know if You've it's confidence it. or yeah. it's just no, like, it is. And it's I just feel like this is, this is my deal. Like, right. I'm doing it. And what we love is that you're putting our town, Chicago, in the forefront of this, because I feel like there's so many house yeah. re renovation shows. Oh, thank you. But they don't take place in, like, Chicago. Oh, I'm ready you. for you to go viral, like Joanne and Chip Gaines. You know, that's what I want you to do. <laughs> Done. And that is exactly, so for me, you know, I was with DIY Network and HGTV with Kitchen Crashers for mm -hmm. six years. So to do all those kitchens, but let's let's face it, HGTV is a huge platform, yeah. and so this is now an hour show, prime time, and mm -hmm. this is what I've worked so hard for, and to be able, like you said, to put Chicago. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I love this. <laughs> you want, you want to take this audience with you? Yes. Yeah. Well, like you said, like in the piece, you have so much to work with here. The architect, yeah. everything is here. Let's take a look at one of the houses Ooh, okay. that you just recently worked with. We're going to look at the before, and then you're going to tell us what you did on the after. So what's the story with this? So this was the pilot episode. Mm -hmm. So that was the before. This is the rendering done by this awesome man, Adam Wells. And then that's the after. So what I'm doing is, you know, we had a little trouble with this house. It may have fallen down by accident. No yeah. way. Yes. Yeah, so the, that's the one with the big window you were referring to. That was the big to. window. Yeah. yeah. And so it, we went to demo and it just kind of came crumbling down. So we got like a stop work notice. It was not easy. And the pilot took eight months. So this is like, Here's what I love about the show is um, everything, <laughs> but I love how real it is. So I wanted to showcase everything that happens in a flip instead of having these kind of real like, you know, I don't know how right, to say it. You blink it. and then it's yeah, done yeah. and it's right. like, whoa, that was fast. And it's fast. like, how did you do it? Or there weren't any problems. So it's like, we're Chicago. Like we deal with some rough stuff. Like <laughs> yeah. we've got the weather, we've got City permit, hard city to <laughs> yeah, work with, yeah. and you know <laughs> some neighbors that might not be so happy. But it's like ultimately, I really wanted to do this because I fixed up a house that was built in 1905 in Wicker Park, a house people used to run past, and then you know after I was done with it, they would take pictures. Oh my god! So I thought that's what I want to do Wait, in so the city. Was the house for sale now? I sold it. You sold it already? <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I want to like, go in there and look well, at it. I bought one of my own houses. I mean, we were building uh, 14 right now. Wow. So we're yeah, because the network wanted, they wanted, you know, originally it's 13 episodes. And I was like, what? 13 houses? Oh. And we were already in production with so many. So we really did go out and find new properties. And as developers, me and my partner Donovan, who is everything, and you guys yeah. are going to love him, and you guys are going to love him. And he's so wait, just, what do you do with all these houses? The, the so 13 we houses. build them, and then we flip them, and, and we flip? sell them. And wow. then you get rich. And then I hope I get rich. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of people that want to get into this, including, so yeah, uh, if you could tell somebody from the ground floor, what's the first thing you need to do to get into learning? Do your homework. Flip? Because so many people think they can get into it by watching HGTV, like, oh, I can flip a house. It's mm -hmm. like, whoa, mm -hmm. get your budget, know exactly who your subs are, because these people can, I mean, they don't show up for us sometimes, right? you know, and all of a sudden you've paid them. And they're like, we'll mm -hmm. see you later. Right. So make sure that you're establishing relationships with these people. Make sure that you are on top of it or you have a project manager. And just make sure that, like like I yeah. just said, I mean, I've learned from a lot of my mistakes and a lot of my failures. And, 
you know, not every single property is profitable. Okay, right. So if you need yeah. anybody to rough people up, you know, yeah. she's... I mean, I was me? Like, Wait, yeah. 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 Okay. okay. As though, like, having 14 houses to build and flip isn't enough work, I know. you've now become a magazine owner. Yes. So tell us about... <laughs> I, like, want to live in Chicago. Hello. Yes. Give so, us one. We want one. Here. And the entire so, audience got one did. as well. You there you go. Magazine. Yeah. You get the magazine. You get the magazine. Everyone gets a magazine. Yeah. I wish it was a car, but sorry. Um... So this is my very first uh, issue as, as owner and publisher. And what happened was the, uh, the old owner, Bridget Daly. Yes. You know Bridget? Rockwell. Yes, she's, she's been on the show. Her bags are fantastic, yes. so check them out. Um, she owned the magazine for two years. She took it to a whole new level. And I advertised in this magazine. My first time advertising, and it was a paid advertisement. And um, it was for the new development company. And I saw a huge return on investment. And I thought, if I'm going to pay for an ad, then like, I know a ton of people that might do this as well. So this just ties into my world of travel and fashion and nice. design and, and beauty and fitness. And so I thought, if I can really take this to a whole new level, not just with the print magazine, because that's one thing, sure. mm -hmm. and this is a direct mail magazine, um, but I'm going to get it to everybody now. Right. And I'm going to get it to everybody with the new website that I'm launching called slmagchicago.com. You're already doing so, it. You're already building yes. an empire. Okay, I, so wanted yeah. it. I wanted eyes on it, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a hard copy, but we're going to make sure that we're in so many different places right. in the city of Chicago that everyone can pick this up and really be a part of and it. And if someone has never picked up this magazine, what will they find inside? Tell them. This is not going to be heavy in ads, and what I love about it is the content. So everything from, like I said, fashion to design to beauty to where the new hotspot is. Or Bridget. there she is. Yes. And everything in between. So when you're flipping pages, it's not like you're going ad, ad. Right. It's you know very well laid out to where you feel like you're really learning about a, a person, a place, or a, a handbag, Ooh, or yes. you know whatever. And we do sophisticated, defined, which is fashion. Some of, some of the big fashion houses that are talking to um, Tina from VMR, and she's getting like it's just you know yeah, what I mean. They, yeah, yeah. they know. And you just talked to Cindy Crawford. Yes. Oh, I, just another day yeah. in your life. I just got to talk to her. So I was in uh, Cancun with uh, Cosentino Stone, who I'm now partnering with, and they're going to be doing a lot. Oh, there she is. Don't ever stand next to her because <laughs> I had six-inch heels on, and I yeah. still felt like I was like a post that she was leaning on. But yeah. she, yeah. let me tell you, is a Chicago girl like DeKalb. Mm -hmm. She is such a sweetheart, and she was so excited about the show. And she was just really genuinely interested. It's like, you don't make yeah. small talk if you don't want. But um, so we're going to hopefully work on something exciting. Nice. Uh, but yeah, it's, uh, it's been an awesome ride. I, I don't want it to end. And, you know, I'm just trying to keep myself relevant and, and really try to, to really dig my feet in here in the city that I was born in. And I think you're yeah. doing it. I you get a few more houses, take yeah. care of the audience. Yeah. 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 Right. You get a house. <laughs> Be sure to check out the digital version of Sophisticated Living magazine, Chicago at slmagchicago.com. And check out Allison on HGTV's Windy City Flip this summer. Coming